Chase, another really good day today, over 19 meters again. Yeah. And here's the thing I've been dying to ask you. Last year, well, up until this year, you were a glider. <laughs> Last year, your season best was about 1780. Okay, now you're throwing 19 meters every week in Shanghai, in Stanford, in Arizona. What's going on? How'd this happen? Uh, I just, Ryan, like, I think uh, switching to the rotational has been, like, a, a blessing. Like, I've always, like, everyone, like, kind of been like, are you going to rotate? Are you ever going to rotate? And I'd be like, no, I'm never going to go to the dark side, you know? And, <laughs> and uh, I met with Ryan um, last year, uh, like, July, and I remember showing him a video, and he goes, oh, you're going to rotate now. And I just kind of was like, whatever you say, because I was at a point where everything was kind of at a standstill. So I start rotating and then it just like starts clicking. We try and incorporate my glide finish. That way it's like a nice strong finish like nice. uh, with uh, more momentum. So I think with Ryan, I don't think rotating is what it is. I think it's Ryan coaching me in the rotating. I don't wow. think without Ryan, I don't think that would be very good. <laughs> Do you think that having been a glider all that time has had a positive influence on your spin? Yeah, I think um, uh, I think if you, so I think it very much is beneficial to glide before you rotate, because for me, like, it's like having to have all that power in a glide, and then being able to like kind of manipulate that and put it into a rotational. I feel like even when. I'm having like a bad rotating day. Like as long as I have my finish, I can do something. Right. You know what I mean? Like right. to today, it was like Ugh, rough, but my finishes are really good. Like yeah. I can feel them coming off. And I think like a glide finish, like with a rotation, like I just think it's like really beneficial. Yeah, that seems like what yeah. that's what Krauser does. Like, right. Like he has a very him. glidey finish, like yeah. very long and strong in that way. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So if you were a coach, would you start? kids with the glide and then with the idea that they'll have a better spin later on in their career? I think in high school you should glide. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do. Like, for girls at least. I'm, guys is a little different. But I think girls, like, we're, we're behind in the rotational already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I think, like, turning, like, a glide, like, I think glide, having a glide, having a good finish, I think you can always work, like, with a spin, like, after that. If you have a good finish, I think you can always do something. Do so you think the glide maybe sets a foundation? Yeah. I think it's a really good foundation for rotating. Not that everybody has to right, right. rotate. I got beat by the glider today, so <laughs> obviously yeah. but, but so so looking back, you don't regret being a, a glider your college career? No. I think for me, I mean, it's not like I was a short glider. I mean, my best glide is, you know, like 1846. Right. So it wasn't like I wasn't gliding far-ish. Um, but I do think for me personally, it's like the biggest thing because my finish is just what's getting me there yeah. every time. Um, you've done a great job overseas. How how did you manage that? You, in Shanghai, you went to Shanghai. It's great. How did you yeah. do it? That usually gives think, people trouble. Well, I think I'm lucky that like you know Ryan's been through it all a thousand times. Mm -hmm. So I I have somebody in my ear who's always like he's always making me do things that I don't understand. And then mm -hmm. when I go to a meet, I'm like, oh, you know, I'm like that was for a reason. Yeah. So can you give us an example? One thing you um, to do. I have to walk in my throwing shoes far. So I go to Shanghai and we ended up having to walk like a, a freaking mile to the shoes. ring in our throwing shoes. So I was like, well, I've done this a thousand times, you know, because Ryan will make me walk in my throwing shoes. And I'm always like, oh, this is stupid. And I get mad. But then my feet didn't hurt and I felt like perfectly fine in Shanghai. You know? That's really interesting. Yeah. So it's just people would everything. You, to do you don't know what they're going through, but he does. You know, he's yeah. done it like a thousand times. So he's yeah. like, oh, let's get you ready for this this, this, or this, and yeah. always preparing for the worst, too, is really... Amazing. Are you going to compete between now and uh, the U.S. Championships? Yeah, I'm going to uh, Lausanne, and then I'm going to Hungary, I think, wow. and then Nationals. And if, obviously you guys have talked about the next couple months because it's a long season, Doha, yeah. not until uh, last week of September. Um, how are you guys managing that? Well, when I started rotating, we couldn't really like take a break. So mm -hmm. I started in September officially. Like mm -hmm. My practices for rotating officially started. So we were kind of like ready for a long season. Um, and I know I did like a lot of conditioning to like prepare myself for like the physical like like load that I'm gonna get um, and so I think we just like 
he makes sure to like check in and make sure I'm mentally like still there and I think like doing well um, has helped me kind of stay at that like zone where right now all I'm thinking is like oh like keep going keep going you know like I'm not in a zone where I'm kind of like falling or anything I'm just yeah I'm riding the wave just gonna keep going but we always like make sure that I'm mentally and like physically like in a good place before I travel and I I, I always am like I'm ready to do anything yeah. really. you guys are a dynamic duo yeah we are we do really well together listen I hope you can keep riding that wave through Des Moines yeah to Doha yeah. and to the metal stand yeah thank you so much